A child got lost in a magical fantasy world and returned the hero that saved the day there. Or did he? Welcome to the Complete Story Search. I take trade paperbacks and single issues and I break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then I read it dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panels, text, and images are to prevent copyright problems and all art is owned by its respective companies. Don't forget to support these great industries and get the full story with all of the text and context by buying these comics online or at your local comic book store. Last time, Mikey was a child that ended up in the world of Terranos, and he came back one year later, supposedly to stop the God King Lore from entering this plane of existence. But it had been a good number of years in the world of Terranos during this period, because when he came back, he was a grown man trying to convince his family that he was still their little boy. His father and his brother believed him, and they helped him discover the mages that were supposedly going to open the portal from Terranos to Earth. But the problem is, something happened in Terranos, and Mikey didn't defeat God King Lore like he told everyone. He seems to be controlled by something called the Nevermind, to work for Lore. He also got back on Earth to actually open the portals by defeating the Guardians to allow Lore to invade Earth. With the first mage defeated, Mikey has continued his journey with his brother Brennan, and his father allowed himself to be captured by the police to let his boy run off on his mission. Mikey wakes up from the nightmares of the events of Terranos, and he puts a blade to his brother's neck. He apologizes, but he gets disturbed by his memories. Lore was a monster, with maggots for a face, and telling Mikey that he wasn't the first chosen one to fight against him. But none of this matters now. He is on a mission, and he decides that they need a better shelter. Back with his father, Brooks, the FBI agent that is on the case, is in shock that he would let his sons run off together like that. But it's Mikey's mother and Aaron's wife that really wants to know what he was thinking. Why would he take a grown man believing him to be their son on a crazy mission? Aaron explains that his own father took off, and he wanted to be there to help his own children, no matter what happened. He needed to help. But then the NSA walks in and informs everyone the case is now theirs. While this is going on, Mikey decides that he needs to train Brennan some so the two brothers finally get to bond after all of these years. They talk about the older camping trips that they took when they were younger and Mikey tries to teach Brennan sword fighting until a bear arrives, roaring its head at them. Mikey decides to use this as a teaching moment to put down his sword and show that sometimes you cannot fight. Then as the bear calms down, Mikey stabs it in the head. Brennan is in shock. The bear trusted Mikey. How could he have done that? But Mikey explains, it was to protect Brennan. Now they have food. Meanwhile, across the world, the remaining mages can feel the presence of the Nevermind. So they decide to send Terranos to the agent of lore that left Terranos. Mikey and Brennan continue stealing camping supplies and keeping busy. And Mikey manages to tell Brennan part of being a hero is also being a thief. And Wendy, Mikey's mother, goes home and decides to read Mikey's journal about his stay in Terranos. She goes through reading his adventures and all about the missed birthdays that he experienced. And she begins to believe that it might actually be her son. So she decides, no more missed birthdays. And she hopes that using this book, she can find where Mikey is going. What Mikey actually needs, though, are knives that can cut through the very soul of an individual. And he knows that they are in this world. And he and Brennan find them hanging on the walls of a hunting shop like trophies. Meanwhile, Raya has been wandering, following Mikey's trail. She is one of his old friends from Terranos, the woman carrying his child. She came to Earth looking for him. When she approaches the police station, though, they get scared by yet another individual with a sword, and they open fire on her. She throws back her cloak, spreading her wings so that she can continue her journey for Mikey in the air. Back with Mikey and Brennan, they break into the hunting shop that night to take the knives off the wall. But that's when the shop owner, Becca, arrives with a gun, ready to shoot Mikey and Brennan. Brennan insists that Mikey not harm her because he kind of has a crush on her. So Mikey brandishes the knife, showing their true power, and he runs at the girl to disarm her. But in the confusion, the shotgun goes off, and Mikey turns around to see a hole in his brother's gut as he was hit with the blast. Brennan asks Mikey to get mom. He thinks he hurt himself. And Mikey calls out for his brother as the world around them begins to change into Terranos. Over with some of the hunters who were at the shop earlier, the changing landscape infects them, and it begins to change them into the creatures of Terranos to do the bidding of the mages. Mikey and Becca run to Brennan's side, and Becca tries to help, but something overcomes Mikey, and his face begins to grow red veins, and he shouts, Get away from my brother! As Mikey picks up Brennan, hoping to bring him to the nearby outpost, the Nevermind begins to speak to Mikey again. It tells him to leave the boy. They have a mission to complete for God King Lore. Meanwhile, a little ways away, Raya is still trying to find Mikey, and the police are now chasing this odd winged woman. She manages to dodge them, and then using her sword, she cuts the blades off of the helicopter, crashing the helicopter and escaping. Mikey and Becca get Brennan to the first aid outpost, but that's when Mikey sees the glowing light of the wizard's magic. So he takes his knives, and he steps out, ready to fight. He knows what this is. He knows why the world is turning into Terranos. It's a diviner. And around them appears the maimed body of the bear that he killed earlier. 
It tells him that it came as a friend, and in return, he took its life. Mikey then runs in to fight the Diviner, but its power is that of good, and Mikey is possessed by the Nevermind, and he is now a being of evil. So it hits him with a massive amount of pain, and the creatures hold him down. They tell Mikey that they can make him pure again. Mikey refuses, and the Diviner tells him that it doesn't understand. Why would he deny them? Did he truly let Lore's Nevermind corrupt him? The Diviner then senses pain nearby, and to prove that he is here to save Mikey, he goes over to Brennan. It enters the first aid hall, and it begins to use its powers on him. When Mikey breaks free and begins striking the creatures with the knives, stripping the Terranos out of them, and turning them back to normal. Once he gets all three of them down, he runs to the outpost to find Brennan walking out all healed, but he still doesn't trust the Diviner, and he begins swinging at it with his knives. Only they still have no effect on the Diviner, and it tells him that the knives won't have any effect on him. Not when someone is tainted as Mikey wields them. He then blasts Mikey, throwing him back. Brennan wants to know why Mikey has to kill everything! Why is that the answer? There has to be a better way! This thing healed him! But Mikey tells him that it's the only option because they would stop his quest. So Brennan tells him that he isn't sure that he can continue this quest with him. As Brennan begins to walk away, the Nevermind pops out of Mikey to inform him that his family betrays him again. But it doesn't matter. We don't need them. The Nevermind tells Mikey to kill his family and leave before the Diviner destroys these lands. But Mikey tells him, no. Is that a hint of the champion of Terranos I sense? Need I remind you that the master demands that you kill anyone who gets in the way. I agreed to follow Lore's orders. Not yours, Nevermind. But the Nevermind replies with, if you won't listen to me, then you'll die! And it envelops Mikey, giving him massive amounts of pain and beginning to kill him. He hits the ground, and the Diviner comes over, telling Brennan that Mikey is a lost cause. His sacrifice is needed to ensure the infection doesn't spread. So Brennan takes the knives, and he tells the Diviner that if it's going to hurt Mikey, it has to go through him. Meanwhile, back at their home with Wendy, Rhea walks in the door exhausted from her journey, asking for help. Wendy recognizes Rhea from Mikey's journal, and asks what happened. Rhea explains that after months of amassing an army, Mikey went in to fight Lore alone, and he never came back. Wendy tells Rhea that Mikey said he defeated Lore, and Rhea says that that is not what happened. That's when Wendy realizes that Rhea is pregnant, and Rhea confirms it is Mikey's baby. So Wendy decides that she's going to go find Mikey. Back on the battlefield, the Diviner explains that Mikey is fighting the Nevermind's control. That is why it is tearing him apart. Mikey tells Brennan that the Diviner is lying, but Brennan knows that he saw something in a Mikey on their journey. So he lays the knives down because Mikey told him that sometimes it is best not to fight. The Diviner begins to change itself into young Mikey, the young Mikey that allowed himself to become infected by the Nevermind, and then bombards Mikey with its powers over and over. If he will not surrender and let them help him, he will die by the cleansing of everything around him. Brennan sees that this isn't going well, and he refuses to lose his brother again, and Mikey sees this as a chance to defeat the Nevermind, to remove it from him, so he gives himself up to the Diviner. The Diviner comes over to Mikey, and it tells him that he will no longer be burdened with the evil that Lore has put in him. And Mikey tells him, you seem confused. I wanted to join Lore. So the Diviner lunges at him. Then the world will be better without you in it. At that moment, Brennan tackles the Diviner and stabs it with his knives. In a giant whoosh, the Diviner vanishes into the night and the area begins to return back to normal. So Brennan decides that he'll walk Becca back to her shop while Mikey finds their stuff. But that's when we learn what truly happened. The Nevermind isn't gone. Mikey tells him that Brennan is important because of his power. And the Nevermind finally agrees. Brennan will make a perfect host for God King Lore. The story continues in issue 11, and we won't be getting to volume three for quite a few months again. So if you want to read this yourself, then support the industry by getting issue 11 and reading on from there. I'll see you guys next time right here, but don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Comic Storian or on Instagram at Comic Storian.